We are at the, um, the uh, bench here here. And before I do any cutting up, I just wanna talk you through this. This is like a big paper cutter, but it's for metal. Um, and one of the really important things never to do is to cut wire on this. If you cut wire on it, you're gonna damage the, the shear and we're gonna to have to have it resharpened. Um, so there's also a guard here so that I don't cut my fingers off. And if you can't push your metal underneath that, here's the little piece right here, I got left. If you can't push your, uh, your metal underneath that, it's too thick a metal to be using the shear here. The other thing that you should notice about it is, is there's a ruler here so that you can take a piece of metal, put it up against here, slide it in if I needed something five inches long, line it up against that edge and cut it, and I would get a perfect 90 degree angle. So what I want to do with this big piece of metal here is I want to take and I'm going to mark the width that I want on it. And so that width on that, I'm going to do millimeters this time. And I'm going to cut it so that it's just one millimeter. And one millimeter and a half are um, pretty close to each other. So I bet I'll end up with something that looks pretty much the same. So now that I've got that, I'm gonna put it in, turn it around, my, my um, edge that I'm looking for is right here. I'm gonna push this up against here and I'm gonna slide it in. And I'm gonna look down through the top and I think Erin can probably get in there. And I'm gonna back up until I see my line. And can you guys see that? Can you push right. it forward just one more time and do it again? Yeah. So it's back like this. It's up against the, the ruler. And now I'm backing it up. And I'm going to line it up right there. And then I'm going to hold it down nice and tight. And I'm going to reach up and grab this. And I'm going to pull. And then I'm going to lift it back up. And then I'm going to set our door plate. I love recycled materials to work with. Um, and we have a problem. Okay. So what happened here was, is the last time this was cut, it wasn't at a 90 degree angle. So, so I get to do that again. So I'm going to double check by putting this in here, seeing that it's a 90 degree angle now. I'm going to make myself a little X that this is the side that is a 90 degree angle. And then I go back in. It's always great when something goes wrong. And I'm gonna remark where I wanna cut it. And I'm gonna try again. So having a Sharpie is a really nice material to have, or a tool to have in the studio. I'm not sure what we did with them before. There were Sharpies but I use them all the time in my shop. So I pushed it back in. It's up against this edge really well. And this time when I shear it, I should get a straight piece of metal. And did I? Looks like it. Okay. So what did we learn here? We learned here that if you're using communal material, using communal material, check and make sure that the edge is a 90 degree angle before you shear off what you want. This material can still be used. It would be fun to maybe do a band ring where you wrapped it around and this overlapped in it. But we um, recycle all our material and we try to use as much as we can. So some other things to know about the shear is, is that it's made out of steel and steel, if it gets water on it, rusts. And, uh,